it's me, Renee, I'm back. So I'm coming to you from my bed. It's day three of the free readathon. And I'm reading this book, as I said yesterday, The Other Side of Happiness. I'm at page 90 now. The first first or uh, first 10, 20 pages were fine, but then it got increasingly better today. Like the part of it yesterday was like, really? But it's getting really better now. It's getting really better. And, <laughs> and just I thought I should read this to you because <laughs> as you do, you sometimes read wrong, which I did today, right now. And she's talking to her mom. She's been married for half a half a year now. She's talking to her mom. They are loved and she's talking to her mom about being married. And her mom says, Marriage can be hard, but I think it I think it's worth it. I, of course, read, miscarriage can be hard, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> That's just so wrong. My head. Yeah. But anyway, 90 pages in, I'm really liking it now. I'll get back to you later. Hi. It's well, still day three. <laughs> I just... Relaxing in that, so in bed, reading, just relaxing, reading on bed. I'm still reading this one, The Other Side of Happiness. I'm a close to halfway through, looks like halfway through, I would say at least. I'm at 181 pages, and the book is 425. Okay, so not halfway, but soon at 200 pages. So soon, halfway. Uh, it just got um, revealed the big twist, and yeah, it's an interesting twist. I like it, and I'm liking the other aspects of the book so far. And yeah, it's good. I've noted a passage um, liking that um, I'll use for the book, book review after, because yeah, I kind of think I'll do book reviews like long or just. The individual for all the books when I'm finished. Or maybe just read some passages in a video. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to continue on. Renee, I'm back. Another update for vlog for Contemporary Uniform Day 3. So I just like to show you a wrong book. So, surprise, surprise, finish this book. Well, it's not that surprising really. I woke up at 7 o'clock this morning because brain. And I just laid in bed and just read and read and read because it's a great book. And isn't it such a good way to start a book, start a day, just by reading a great book in bed? I think so at least. I really like it. So, yeah, this book, The Early Start of Happiness. It started, first of all, for like, what, what's going on? And then it got interesting and good. And then it took a lot of twists. And I was really, um, I was really, what's the word? I was really uh, encaptured. I was really into the story the whole way through. And I was always thinking like, oh, well, this is how it's going, this is how it's going. I didn't really predict the way it would end and how it would, how it would go really. So that's very fun because the first book I suppose is a bit more predictable in some ways. Uh, and you see I have no <laughs> tags on places that have had great lines and moments. Uh, but also uh, it ended in a way that I thought, oh, you end like this. Hmm. Didn't expect it at all. So I'm not really sure how I like the ending, how I was thinking about the ending. I didn't hate it, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I finished this one. And this counts as illustrated because it's an illustrated scarf and it's all hijabi. And it also counts as diverse because it's about, about I found out, a Pakistani English uh, woman. And uh, yeah, and it's also kind of hard hitting, hard hitting, I would say, actually. The first one wasn't that hard hitting, it was hard hitting ish, but I felt like this was more, more hard hitting, really. So yeah, honestly. More books being hard than I thought, than I expected them to be, really. 
during this week. So yeah, I finished that. It's now a quarter to one in the afternoon here. Um, I just cleaned my room, and I'm not sure I'll start anything new now. I'm going actually going to work today. Yeah, I don't have a full time job, but I'm going to work today anyway. Uh, so I'll probably read on train. I think at least. And then I'm probably going to start the inexplic inexpl inexplicable logic of my life by Benjamin Aliendis Science. This one I'm very excited for. Well, I'm excited for all of them. But anyway, this one's going to be fun to read. Uh, and yeah, uh, tomorrow afternoon my sister's coming. So I'm not sure how much reading I'll be reading on Friday and tomorrow, at least not tomorrow evening. Or tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but Friday I might get some more reading in, and tomorrow I'll definitely get some more reading in. And I think it's pretty, probably good in a way, one way that I'm taking this book next because you see it's kind of it looks kind of big at least. And so this one is at four hundred. 450 pages, and then this one is, is the last book I have on TBR, and that's that's just 300 pages, and you see it looks smaller as well. So yeah, I'm gonna be reading this next, and then I'll be doing this over the weekend, which is probably good because the weekend I'll be busy. I think. I suppose yeah, I won't be busy all the time, but I'll be busy ish. So it's probably good to have a finished one for last really. And also, I'm thinking like, well, I'm gonna fly through this book, so, so maybe I will actually read all these books before Sunday. And if that happens, I actually have some uh, alternatives for books to read uh, during a, to for books to read in addition to these ones. Uh, but I'll be talking about those if I'm gonna get them. Anyway, still got two books left. So yeah, that's my update now. I'll. Might make some updates tonight. Well, probably will because I probably will read a bit during the train, and maybe I end up taking this to the train. I'm not sure, but anyway, I might read something, uh, some during the train. So I'll do another update tonight. And see you then, Renee out. Hey, hey Renee, I'm back. So it's still late for me. I suppose you might be confused because of my wardrobe change. I decided to change, been to work, and I decided to change out my work clothes. Uh, as I suspected, uh, as I said earlier, I did read a bit in this book. I started today on the train, I got to page 15. Uh, so I read the prologue, which was one page, in terms of told you, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, and I read the first chapter, and I've got uh, two pages into chapter two. And so far, I'm really liking it. Uh, probably will read it during, uh, while I'm lying in bed, or it's not improbable anyway. But I don't think I want to do another vlog today, so I'll just tell you about how I'm reading, read a bit today. And then I'll just, if I read more on, in my bed, I'll just include that tomorrow, in that tomorrow morning update, really. So yeah, today I finished of this book and started this book. And I would say today has been a good reading day, really. I finished a pretty damn good book. It was surprising anyways, but it wasn't bad, it was just surprising. I think I'm probably going to reread it to just think more about how I feel, feel about it. But I didn't hate it. No, I can't say I didn't do that. And this one, so far, is good. It is. And, um, uh, yeah. That's day three of the Contemporary Readathon, and that's how it is for me. Tomorrow I'll be reading one of this one, uh, and tomorrow evening my sister's coming. Evening, not evening. Tomorrow afternoon, uh, so then I'll probably be with her and sorry, my sister and my nephew. So I'll probably play a bit with him, or oh, playish. He's five months now, but he just likes to play a bit. Is a bit of a player, player, but yeah. Uh, but I'll probably read a bit tomorrow morning, and I'll see how it goes after that. But anyway, 
so far it's real good. I'm really liking the, this book and I think it's really easy read and probably, yeah, I'll stop there. And that's my update for uh, Contemporary Fun Day 3. Renee, out.